In February of 1990, 23-year-old Mike Tyson was about to enter the ring for the 38th time in his professional career. The fight was taking place in Tokyo, Japan, and his opponent, as usual, was paid little heed. This was just another demonstration of Tyson at the peak of his powers. The culmination of a career that began with a ferocious and memorable debut in the mid-1980s. A lot of Tyson's early opponents were, were terrified because of his record and his manner and the way he just came roaring out of the corner and was throwing punches non-stop. In 1986, Tyson at age 20 became the youngest heavyweight champion in history. And we have a new era in boxing. He wasn't just winning fights and he wasn't just knocking out everybody. I mean, he was knocking them out of the first round and it looked like this was his destiny. By the end of 1989, Tyson had muscled his way to the top of the heavyweight ranks, and the only legitimate challenger left was Evander Holyfield. Their meeting was much anticipated, but slow in the making. So Tyson signed up for a quick payday against an undistinguished opponent, James Buster Douglas from Columbus, Ohio. A tall fighter with a generous reach, 29-year-old Douglas had shown flashes of a potential which had thus far gone unfulfilled. In 1990, Buster Douglas was just another heavyweight out there who looked like a sitting duck for Mike Tyson. Buster Douglas was one of the great underachievers of his time. He always was sort of perceived as a guy who didn't really like to fight. You know, he had a lot of tremendous physical talent. The big debate was, is anybody going to go to Tokyo to cover the fight? The only important stage that Buster Douglas had ever been on before this fight was against Tony Tucker, a good fighter. And he was beating Tony Tucker until he ran out of gas. That was interpreted as this guy doesn't have heart, will, spirit, need, whatever it was. He's actually six years younger. He's 11 and a half pounds uh, lighter than his Buster Douglas, and he's giving away five inches in height. And there's a considerable reach advantage, you see there, too, for Buster Douglas. Now let's listen in. Please welcome the challenger, James Buster. Douglas! Introducing the undefeated, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the one and only Iron Mike Tyson! Sheridan here, you see Mike Tyson in the black trunks, traditional, and Buster Douglas. The Buster, it's which Buster Douglas has come to fight tonight. We've seen him fight outstandingly in many of his fights. We're just underway here. Then Mike will dispose of him early. That right hand up throw. Surprise. And one thing noticeable right away here is that Buster is not backing up, and when he gets in tight, he's not just hanging on to Mike. He's here to fight. Look at them as they exchange here in round one. Oh, that right hand actually caught Mike. Uh, Mike may have taken it on the glove there, but uh, Buster is here to fight. Half, 11 and a half pounds heavier than is uh, Mike Tyson. Coming up to the closing seconds of this, the first one. Wow! With the right hand is Buster Douglas. And Mike comes right back and answers it with a wild left hand of his own. To get through the first round, and that's why Don King has brought this show on the road. Look at Buster landing some shots here. And he has him back Mike up. Mike standing straight in front of him. Look at this, Buster landing some shots. This is surprising here. Getting the jab through. Life. Midway through the second round, a place that many of us thought uh, we might not see. Hey, there's a grazing right hand gets through. The left hand. The judge, we're actually talking about Octavio Miran. Oh, an uppercut got through that time by Buster. Look at this, Buster landing some shots here. Well, one thing for sure, he's come to fight, even in the second round in favor of Buster Douglas. See Mike much more hooked than Mike Tyson. Oh, that, there's the left hook they get through. That's the first real telling blow by Mike Tyson. Hey, this is round four. Bob Sheridan here. We're in Tokyo, Japan. And a beautiful arena here with a... The Amuri Giants play baseball most of the time, and the Japanese crowd of some 35,000 on hand here enjoying what they certainly didn't expect. And that's it. We're in the early moments here of the. Can he back Mike off? Can he keep that left going? Oh, well, gee, there's a right hand that gets thrown. 
I'm talking about the big questions, and all of a sudden, the big fella executes it. See him bounce the head uh, fights, and you see, oh, there's Mike missing that big left and just grazed the chin of Buster Douglas. And Douglas answering the loaded up shots of his own as the bell ends. Round four. This is we go to round number five. You know, on my scorecard, I actually have Douglas winning two, three, and four. And look at this, the first two big shots and three and four shots landed, and this is the fifth round, a landed by James Buster Douglas. That Mike wants to drag this uh, into some later rounds, but there was a real good right hand that landed off the hand of James Buster Douglas. This fight. Oh, big right hand landed that time. Buster is, if, if, if two, three, or four is a question mark, he's winning the fifth round handily of the later round, but Buster not showing any signs of wearing down, at least to this point, we're in the sixth round. And that this is his night and all of that sort of stuff, but of course one big shot from Mike Tyson can end all that speculation. And Mike looks like he's really trying to land a big shot here in the seventh round. The things, his hands aren't real busy, he's throwing a lot of wide punches, and every time, just like that time, you see that. The big and Buster showing a little bit more fatigue here. I think Mike probably having his best round of the fight to this point. Nice shot inside. And now you get the idea that at some stage here, Mike can land a big shot and end this fight. Here we go with the eighth round. And let's see if Mike can sustain what he started in the seventh or if Buster is going to get right back on top of his game. It drops that big right hand, but Mike takes it on the glove, and he backs off Mike again with the left. Wild with the right hand is Buster. Buster trying to really work the left eye of Mike Tyson. See it right there, right on top of it, just as I say it. Wild with the right hand that time is Buster. Buster trying to finish this thing, and you get an idea, Mike is trying to finish it as well. This has turned out to be a pretty good fight. Buster that's making it the fight. Look at these shots landed by Buster Douglas. And if Buster was out of gas in the early going of this round, he's got it back together in the late portion here. Raising left hand, chopping right, missiles. Uppercut landed by Mike Tyson. That's one of the few uppercuts he's landed in the fight. We've been looking for that all night. Oh, that's a nice uppercut that time. The drops Buster Douglas. The counts up to two and three and four. His eyes from where I'm sitting look fairly clear. It's up to seven, seven and eight. eight. And here it is at nine. Is he going to get up? Yes, he okay. does. All right. And the bell ends the eighth round. What a round for Mike Tyson. Wow. What a turn of events. And to get his bearings back, trying to get those legs back. As you look at the replay, it'll be an uppercut from Mike Tyson that eventually catches him. And there it is. Look at that. It's a clean right uppercut. And down went Buster Douglas. Different angle. Look at the head snap and the perspiration fly. And that's the Mike Tyson we've been looking for all night. And now the big question is, can Buster get it together between the eighth and ninth round? Look at that. What a vicious uppercut. Is it just another day in the office for Mike Tyson? Well, here we go with round number nine. Now let's see if Mike can sustain it. And he's got the adrenaline flow going. He wants to end this thing now. The ninth round of a fight we never expected to be this far. So no matter what happens, we give a lot of credit to Buster Douglas for making this a big, big fight. Tyson trying to end it with one big shot again. He's down, he comes with the uppercut. Somehow or other, Buster's throwing shots back. Look at this. Buster is not ready to pack it in. You know, Buster's mother who died a couple of weeks ago might be watching him and giving him just that extra inspiration that he needs. Whatever it is, he's fighting back like I haven't seen Buster do, certainly in the Tony Tucker fight when he got in trouble, he kind of, well, he, he folded up, there's no question about it. We're past the midway point in round nine, and I expect him. Look at this! Look at Buster coming back! Did he fuck with the lights of Mike? I don't know, he got him again! Fights back strongly, landing some big shots. And now he can't get careless. Look at this! Who would ever have expected this? And around and that Buster would back it in. He comes back, showing the heart. The tremendous heart that we've seen sometimes in Lackey and others. Tonight, Buster's got the heart back. Wow! 
I haven't seen Mike in this kind of trouble before. Look at Mike actually grasping to hang on. Mike missing the shots. Buster loading up the shots now. A seesaw battle it's turned out to be from six seconds sustained through the tenth round. Oh, right hand landed as the referee was breaking them. Mike misses the uppercut. Checking his heels. Doesn't have the good balance. His legs together as Buster landing these. Oh, nice uppercut! By Buster Douglas! Look at this! He's knocked Mike Tyson down for the first time in his career! Mike Tyson hits the canvas! He's in big trouble! He may not be able to recover! It's up to seven and eight! He doesn't get a make it! Unbelievable! 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 Buster Douglas is a new heavyweight champion of the world! This has got to be! in the history of boxing. Buster Douglas, the new undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. It happens here in Tokyo, Japan. Why? Wow. This is why, folks, you can't afford to miss him, no matter who the opponent is. This is unbelievable. Two jabs. Third jab, a glancing blow. Mike's legs weren't there at this stage, in my opinion. Still coming forward, and there is a, just a great uppercut. And it's that uppercut that had Mike back reeling, and then followed up by a real strong left hand. And as it worked out, that's all she wrote, as Mike is now about to be counted out. Wow. Boy. One more look at it. There's the big uppercut that changes the course of boxing history. Followed by the big left hand right, bang, right there. Oh, look at this, and Buster's still throwing punches. Another big left hand, throwing the punches as he goes down. And Mike, for all practical purposes, as the mouthpiece flies, is out right here. 23 seconds in round number 10. The winner by way of knockout and new heavyweight champion of the world, James Buster Douglas. You uh, were in Japan at the time. Were you like were you uh, involved in parties? And I heard you weren't focused necessarily. Well, I had. I, I tell you, I get carried away sometimes. I had some. <laughs>